everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. Here I'm working on a 2016 Infiniti Q50. This is a Type S, so we have a uh, check engine light on. And the trouble code that I have is P0420. It's a catalytic, uh, catalytic efficiency below threshold bank one. So this here is a bank one that's underneath, um, right underneath the car. The car is running as we speak. And uh, this is a driver side right underneath the car. And this is a passenger side. This is a bank two. So uh, the check engine light is on. There's a lot of ways you could test these catalytic converters before you're gonna replace it. Um, this is a little higher mileage car though. It could have been a rental car, I'm not sure. But uh, I'll show you how to check and how to, uh, it takes about two minutes to check the catalytic converter before you replace it because you could replace it and it could be something as simple as exhaust leak or, or things like that so in this car I don't have an exhaust leak my exhaust doesn't sound any different because if you have a leak between uh, air fuel mixture sensor and oxygen sensor you're also gonna get this code but I'll show you how to check if it's good or not just by using infrared infrared uh, thermometer uh, so I have one like this it's made by Master Cool. I had this one for years, I think I got it back in like 2011. It looks like this and it will do Celsius and uh, it will do Fahrenheit. So as you can see right here, there's two lasers and I'm checking my floor at 75.8 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to show you what to do. For example, the front of the catalytic converter has to be cooler than the back part of a catalytic converter. Inside the converter there's a honeycomb. And that thing gets really roasted up and basically that's what burns off your all your fumes and exhaust and puts out a little cleaner exhaust out in the atmosphere. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my infrared gun right here. Okay. I'm gonna take a measurement right here, and as you can see, I'm getting about 200, I'm getting about 300, 280, and it's kind of jumping back and forth, about 300 degrees. Okay, so on this side of catalytic converter I should be getting a lot cooler numbers and as you can see I'm getting 350 360 degrees so this catalytic converter is really not doing not really doing its job I mean and it goes kind of goes back to the same temperature then it jumps back to hotter temperature so it should be it should be cooler up front and hotter on the back. I'm gonna demonstrate it on this catalytic converter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a reading on this side. So you can see I am getting about 300 degrees, 310, 312. All right, the front, the front is gonna be slightly cooler. I'm gonna see 280, 280, 270, two, You can so this catalytic converter on bank two is working perfectly fine. Um, you know, like I said, different vehicles might have different temperatures, but it should be cooler on the front and hotter in the back. That means the catalytic converter fully functional and it's doing its job. If it's giving you the same temperatures here and here, it's basically, it's a wash. It's not doing good. In my case, in my case, it's it's given me hotter temperature on the end side and slightly cooler on the front so that tells me it's not doing its job um, or it, you know sometimes it jumps and it, it gives me about the same temperatures on both sides so that tells me that catalytic converter is no good we're gonna go, go ahead and replace it once again thanks for watching this was George with Melnix Automotive that's how you do a quick check on catalytic converter before replacing it thank you for watching